One of the easiest types of data that we're going to um, analyze is data that happens to follow a linear trend. So let's take a little look at a few things about using those linear trends in data analysis. So first of all, you know, chemists love lines. Um, a lot of the things that we observe, a lot of the behaviors that we um, observe in experiments are linear and in fact will often um, do a little bit of extra math to manipulate the data just to make them into lines because lines are, relatively speaking, pretty easy to understand. So remember, anytime we've got a line, uh, we can fit that data to the equation y equals mx plus b. So we've only got four variables to work with, um, the x and the y data, uh, the slope, and the x-intercept. When we want to define a trend, now technically to define a line, all we need is two points. Um, but if we only use two points, those two points have to be pretty close to perfect points. Uh, so it's usually better for us to collect more points. Um, at a minimum, let's collect a third point just to reassure ourselves that our linear trend is in pretty good shape. So here's uh, just a quick little uh, made up data set that I use to, uh, to demonstrate a line fit. Um, Excel or you know, any number of computer programs can, can fit a line just fine. Um, and if there's just one trend to analyze, that's, you know, that's one of the big things that computers excel at is, <laughs> um, is just working with large data sets. So you can see that I've got, um, some yellowish orange data points here, and I fit them with this purple trend line. Um, I also went in and uh, selected display equation and display R squared value uh, for the line that's there. So, you know, here we've got it just a little bit more explicitly. I've got a slope um, that shows up in the trend line uh, equation. I've got the intercept from the trend line equation. Um, so the reason lines are great is because once I have this information, then for any value of X that I might want to explore, I can now predict the value of Y that I should get. So as an example here, if I want my X or if I have an X that happens to be 3.85, I can plug that in and I can predict that my Y value is going to be 7.7. .7. So that's why lines are um, are useful. It's a very easy analysis. R squared is both a blessing and a curse. Um, so R squared tells us how well this line fits the data that we used to generate that line. Um, and you know, a perfect R squared would be 1.00000. 000. Um, good R squares usually have at least two or three uh, nines as their lead digits. So 0 0.99 something. Uh, this one at 0 0.94 is okay. Um, it's not spectacular, but it's pretty good. Part of the reason it's as low as it is is because I've got a lot of data points here. Now, an important thing to remember, R squared does not tell you that your data is any good. You can graph absolute garbage data and get a really good R squared value. Um, so R squared doesn't tell you your data is good. It just tells you how well the line fits the data that it's based upon. So remember that. Um, R squared is a way to determine how good the fit is to the data that generated it. So the other thing that trips people up uh, fairly often is what's the point of this trend line? And really, people fall in love with their data sometimes. 
Um, but the whole purpose of generating this data is so that I can fit a trend line to it. Once I know what that trend line is, once I've got this equation for the trend line, then don't look at these data points anymore. You're not looking for a magic data point. You're looking for a reliable trend. So trends or a linear trend line like this is a way to reduce uncertainty. So this is a good average of where these things should be. You see there are a bunch of points that miss high. There are a bunch of points that miss low. Uh, so any one of those points isn't a great point. But when taken together, this is probably a reasonable uh, trend. So once you've got this equation, once you've got the trend line defined, ignore the individual data points because at that point they don't really tell you a whole lot.